talk about grace. In Hebrews, there's a beautiful Bible verse. It is 4, verse 16. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness. Now that does not mean what it means in today's language, force, uh, that I'm bold, that I know it means not being weak or wishy-washy. It means to really make the resolve, not just in the moment deciding this is a good idea, but to make that approach to the throne of grace with total resolve and completeness inside of us. Now I continue, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. Well, we all want grace, God's grace in our time of need. Sometimes our most challenging moments are the ones in which we feel prompted to evaluate or reevaluate who we are and what we really desire from a job or a relationship or anything else in life. However, our most inspiring moments come from knowing that God is always with us no matter what we're going through in the moment. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of grace, leads you to a place in mind and heart where you can feel safe all the time. A place where you will know without a doubt that God is with you, that God is ready to help you, and to begin again, you can do it because you have God with you. Regardless of what has happened in the past, you're new. You're totally equipped for new life because God is with you and coming through your mind and your body and your soul. So where you're going or where you have been in the past is not nearly as important as where you are right now spiritually and through God's loving wonderful grace. You have all the help that you need in this moment and in the future.